Asian bombs all over the world. <clears throat> all right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. This is Izar from GMS UK uh, coming with another lesson. All right, um, just want to make a quick uh, video. All right, speaking on uh, this this video here that I'm watching. All right, where you have a uh, to uh, Captain Tazariak from ISUPK, um, and uh, they're just uh, having a discussion here with on uh, her son Campbell, all right, on his channel. And uh, I've you know, just happened to just click on it and you know, listening to a bit of it, and hey, lo and behold, you know, a you know, prof the talk of, of the, the MOTB, all right, the. The, the CHIP comes up, okay, among other things I noticed, all right, and, you know, once again, you know, <laughs> through the spirit I noticed, you know, this Captain Tazaria is going off, all right, he's going off concerning the MOTB, that mark, all right, the chip, he's going off, man, all right, we know that the, that mark, all right, the MOTB is the CHIP, all right? And anybody saying anything other than that, they're going off, all right? Now, it's just funny because you got Hassan Campbell here, right, where he knows, you know, that we're Israelites. He knows that. He's, he's mentioned that we're the children of Israel. And it's funny because when you watch some of the points he's making, it's like he's, <laughs> well, really, he's, you know, speaking about prophecy more than, Captain Tazariak here, which that's just, you know, my own, what, what I've, you know, can't help but, but think to myself, man. So it's like, it's, 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 you know, you got to think about it, man. You know, who you're really listening to, man. You know, because we understand that we've been taught the, the correct doctrine and the truth by our apostles of Great Millstone, man. 100%. All right. And we're seeing this more and more in these last days that these other camps, these other, groups they don't have a hundred percent truth man they stay going off man and and it's all about being you know and having the correct doctrine that's all this is man the scripture says mark them that cause division contrary to the to the doctrine man roughly quoting but i want to play a bit of the clip and then i want to get some scriptures world why are we not preparing if we see they putting out shows as doomsday preppers and they're putting out shows like on The Walking Dead or How to Survive. You going into nature for 30 days and seeing how long you can stay out there but naked and afraid. Shows like Naked and Afraid. They're showing you. They're giving you signs and they're letting you know where the world is turning. And we are, we are mesmerized and, ca and, and captivated by celebrity gossip, by dead celebrities, by Kanye West with his ignorance. It's like we are living in a time where a hard head is going to make a soft ass. And all I'm going to tell you people is don't find yourself going to Uncle Sam looking for aid and help and he leads you to a FEMA camp because you can't pay these bills, because you can't provide for your children, because y'all think it's a game and y'all think it's a crutch and y'all got too comfortable using Uncle Sam. He's going to put you in a position where he wants you to. In order for you to get in those camps, to get that help, you got to get that chip, that mark of the beast. <laughs> that COVID was attacked. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> you hear what he said? All right. He mentioned the MOTB, all right, which is the chip. All right. And, and you know, this video is not in no way trying to big up, uh, you know, Hassan Campbell or, or anyone or anyone like that. All right. Because, you know, if you don't have this truth 100%, then you, 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 you know, you don't repent, you don't uh, return to the Lord through this truth, then you're going to be perished too in these last days, man, right? But at least even, uh, you know, Hassan Campbell's got that right what, from what he's saying in this video here. He's got that right. The MOTB is that chip, all right? And he's right. There's, you know, a lot of our people are going to, you know, be led you know, and deceived, 
you know, and, and in times of the, the end times, tribulation, Jacob's trouble, they're going to be deceived and they're going to be, you know, caught up in the concentration camps, in martial law, uh, detention centers. They're going to uh, get, you know, uh, the, the CHIP. But you notice when he said that, uh, Captain Tazariak starts chuckling and laughing. All right. Which is, you know, is nothing funny, man. But that's really proud. All right. Because listen to how he responds, man. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, right? Um, for black people... Okay, so now I'm going to flip this a little bit with what you said, right? Because a, a lot, some of that sound like fear talk. Not from you, because you're speaking from um, the FEMA camps, the bunkers, and shit. That's all white folk shit, right? Because white folk uh, believe that their kingdom is falling. So because white folk believe their kingdom is falling, they're the ones in bunkers and shit. You put a nigga in the bunker, he dying in two weeks. He's not going to have enough food in there. We don't think like bunkers. But here's what I will tell you. When right. And just saying on that, you know, we, we understand, you know, and, and know that. Because that's why we, we we don't push, you know, doomsday prepping. You know, we don't uh, uh teach being carnal. Okay. Because doomsday prepping, uh being carnal, that's not going to save anyone. That's not going to save us from this destruction that's going to come. All right. It's having faith in the Lord. All right. In Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and continuing to teach and do this work, all right, through faith, the Lord is going to deliver the elect, all right, and that's what it's about the elect, the few chosen Israelites that repent and return unto the Lord through this truth, all right. The, the 12 tribes of Israel being the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, so called black, all right, because you hear him, uh, Captain Zarek mentioned black, all right, a, we say so called, man, because there's no such thing as a black person. Those are bywords, all right? We're the Israelites, all right? But let's l listen to what else he says. And the heroin, when the heroin and the feminist movement hit the black community, that's the FEMA camp that started. Because when those things hit the black community and we decided to sell it, we like to look at what we call the OGs. I had someone when I was coming up in our journey. We had the OGs teaching us. But what was they teaching us? They was teaching us how to sell drugs because we was the teenagers and all you you could or or under not even teenagers and all you gonna do is get a slap in the wrist and your parents come home. They teaching you, hey, take this package up here, go ahead and deliver this here, go ahead and do this. And after the dope came and the cocaine came, the crack came and crack was like a motherfucking death penalty offense. So when we talk about FEMA camps and having to go to the white man to pay rent and we can't pay, man, we can't do that shit now. Like, even when I hear uh, people talk about, like, recession, when has a nigga not been in a recession? I hate, I hate it. I remember in the 2000s or something when the towers fell and the stock market crashed and white man going through his recession, niggas in their rap songs and all that shit. It's a recession, y'all. We poor. As if before the recession hit for the white man, we wasn't already in that condition. We take the white man's uh, uh, position and impart it on ourselves and negate our own position and wonder why we can't get out. And then we take the time to complain about everything that the white man is doing, but won't do what it takes to get ourselves out of that condition. So, FEMA and and just on the point, man. You know we're in this condition because we sinned against the Lord, man. Let me just get a quick preset, man. All right. Um, let me get a quick preset. This is the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse sixty-eight. It says, "And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again." And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Okay, so the Lord said that we was going to go into Egypt again with ships, which means we would go into slavery, into bondage. That's what Egypt represents, the house of bondage, all right, which is America. That happened to us. We went onto slave ships and uh, were sold, all right, and brought to the land of America, okay, and scattered all over the world as well. All right, and we were sold as born men and born women. All right, and we've not been back to our homeland, Israel, Jerusalem, since. Okay, as a whole, because 
we are under the curses for breaking the commandments of our Lord. All right. It says no man shall buy you, meaning to redeem you. We weren't going to be redeemed from the condition we're in, from our slavery. All right. Only our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai was going to redeem us. All right. In these last days. All right. Through repentance, through this truth. Right. Through trusting in the Lord. When the Lord returns, that's when we're going to be able to be uh, risen out of our condition that we're in, out of this oppression and out of our captivity. So it's not anything that's that's carnal that we can, uh, you know, um, start rallying, start marching and, and, and all of that. No, man. All right. We have to rely on the Lord. All right. The Lord is the one that put these nations above us. The Lord is the one that put the so-called white man, which is the Edomites, ruling over us. All right. We're under the curses, man. Okay, but that's why this isn't a carnal thing, all right? This isn't about going to the hood, going to the ghettos, all right? No, this is about the Lord's word being preached and the Lord gathering the chosen elect, those that have the ear to hear, who the Lord opens their mind to repent. That's how the Lord is doing this, man. It's not of man. Camps, I ain't, well, well just, and just to correct, there ain't no such thing as a microchip that, that's a mark of the beast. You hear that? You hear what he said? There you go. Now, we got to the main point that I wanted to get to. He's going off. All right? Captain Tazaria of ISUPK is going off. All right? In this video where he's saying that the MOTB is not the chip, which is false. All right? He's wrong. He's going off. I'll play that again. Condition. So, FEMA camps, I ain't, well, well just, and just to correct, there ain't no such thing as a microchip that, that's a mark of the beast. The mark of the beast... All right, and you didn't correct, all right? You're incorrect in actual fact, okay? Because the MOTB, all right, Revelations 13 and 16, that mark is talking about a physical mark. It's an actual chip, all right? The word in that is karagma, okay? Which is an incision, a cutting in the flesh. So what are you talking about? All right, let's, let's bring that back. So, FEMA camps, I ain't, well, well just, and just to correct, there ain't no such thing as a microchip that, that's a mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is the spirit that you carry for that beast. So that mark, like, if you, when it says in your forehead, what's in your forehead? Your brain, what you think with. Your hand symbolizes the action. That's the mark in your hand. So now, when you take in that information, where does that say that in the scriptures you're going off man all right that is that is a complete fluff of a breakdown man that is not what the scriptures is saying it's not talking about some uh, uh your 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 uh philosophy or, or what you're thinking it's an actual mark man all right an actual uh physical chip what are you willing to do with it we take in the information that I could be a drug dealer and we take the action of doing it. We take in the information of I could kill my brother and we take the action of doing it. What you put in your spirit, or excuse me, what you take into your brain affects how you carry yourself. So we don't have to wait. Listen, we do everything the white man tells us to do today. He does not have to put a microchip in our body to control us. He does not have to do that. We already do it. His stimulus, we take it. His welfare, we take it. His drugs, we take it. Join his military, we do it. Join his police force, we do it. You name me one thing the white man has told us to do that we ain't done. We exactly. Exactly right there. So when he does bring the MOTB, that chip, why aren't a lot of people going to take that as well? You see, you, you, you see, he's, he's being double-minded, man. Okay? It's either uh, uh, something that the, uh, that the, the Edomites, that Esau's going to do, or he's not going to do. Which one is it? Okay? Because you're saying that it's not the chip, but then you're saying that he doesn't have to chip the people. So which one is it, man? All right? And you know what? I'm going to get to the scriptures. I'm going to bring it out, man. Let's go straight to it. Okay? Because he, he's butchered that completely all right and and if he's you know whatever his agenda is if he's sold out if he's got a bag if he's whatever at the end of the day he's teaching false doctrine man all right he's going off so let's read it this is revelations 13 
and verse 15 it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right so it's actually going to be a time where people are going to uh, be uh, lives are going to be threatened for not bowing down to this uh, nwo and and this uh, system all right and the, the new way that east was going to uh, um, cause to be a uh, uh, mandatory okay that is going to put into law okay the image of the beast going into uh, uh, this uh, system right the new system that they're going to in enforce and uh, present before the world man their nwo all right their philosophies okay and the beast are uh, going back to rome all right the roman empire coming working today through nato and the eu all right we're going to see that this uh, mass implementation of this new system the nwo and the actual uh chip man all right verse 16 says and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads so he's gonna through deception he's gonna cause many to be deceived and to actually take this mark now when you go into the greek what is the word what, what does it mean for mark all right so the, the word is karagma okay karagma and it outline of biblical usage meaning a stamp an imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the anti uh messiah or anointed okay which there are many anti messiahs man anti anointed okay so it's actually going to be like a, a sign all right of, of you worshiping and following uh uh you know the devil man okay it says the mark branded upon horses thing carved sculpture graven work of idolatrous images okay so it's a thing carved all right what's going to be carved in your flesh all right it's going to be that that um through the use of uh, the syringe okay now when you go into the root word okay the root word is carax all right meaning a pale or stake a palisade okay a palisade or rampart pales between which earth stones trees and timbers are heaped and packed together now if you ever notice when uh, uh, for an example if you ever go camping or seen anyone that's done camping when they set up tents they'll use stakes okay they'll use stakes like a, a, a you know um a palisade or a stake to stop uh to stamp it into the earth man to to um pierce it through the earth and the soil to keep the tents in place that's what's going to happen with the syringe right it's going to be stamped it's going to be um impaled into the flesh to deliver what that chip the size of a grain of rice where in the hands or in the forehead okay so it says, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So whatever position of people are at in society, whether they're in prison, bond, free, uh, working a nine to five, they're a celebrity, rich and famous, whatever. They're all going to have to be uh, uh, caused to receive this, this chip. OK, because it's going to be the new system, the new way it's going to go uh, cashless. All right, as we've already seen them working on gradually, okay, phasing out cash, phasing out coins, more debit cards, more digital currencies, all right, the uh, more um, you know use of the CBDCs, central banking, banking, uh, digital currencies. All right, that's all increasing. So how is you know this not the chip, man? All right, which they are using currently in Sweden, much more popular. All right, in in Europe. And this is how we know it's talking about that physical chip because, and, and how Tazaria is going off because verse 17, right? This is the main point. It says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So if you don't have this mark, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. That's talking about purchases, all right? Transaction of goods and services. So if you don't have that radio frequency identification device, implanted either in the hand 
or in the head or, or any part of your body to, to scan, which in Europe, a popular uh, um, part of that um, transaction is, is the NFC, the near field communication. That's how it, it works when it swipes over a, a reader. Okay, so that is, and we've seen that use before, man. They've, they've broadcasted this on the news, on the BBC. They've had people um, go and actually receive this chip live. Okay, and then actually go and pay for vending machines, uh, open and close doors. So that's what it's talking about, man, that chip. That's how they're going to have people buying and selling. So if you don't have that, you're going to be off grid. You're not going to be able to buy and sell. You're not going to be able to pay rents cover bills and, and all these things that's why it's going to be the lord to deliver us all right the lord is the only way that we're going to be delivered and only the elect are going to be delivered from this chip okay because there's going to be a destruction all right a judgment for it which i'll read in revelations 14 and verse 9 it says and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the, the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, all right, which is righteous anger. All right, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that's the judgment. You're going to receive no mercy of the Lord. You can't repent from taking that chip, which they're going to try and, and um, tempt and uh, pressure the whole world into doing this so it is dangerous all right when you have people going off saying that this motb is not the chip all right they're going off because the judgment is 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 that of no mercy from the lord for those who take it you can't repent from that so it's not just something so funny something to laugh about something to just chuckle over all right this is serious business man and this is right around the corner all right, so Captain Tazara is going off, man. All right, the scripture says to mark them that cause divisions in the doctrine, man. That's contrary to the doctrine. All right, and mark meaning to, uh, um, which is the word is scopeo, man. All right, to mean to put the scope on them, you know, to speak about these people that are going off. Okay, the scriptures uh, speak about, um, uh, if they speak not according to this word. All right. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. All right, Isaiah 8 and 20. Hmm. All right, so, I, hey, man, that's really the point, man. You know, I think the, the video skipped out. Don't know what happened there, man. But that's what, that's, that, there you go. That's where you have it, man. Okay, I, I, I quoted it. If they uh, speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them, man. All right, so hey, we're here to, to give the warning, man. That's what it's about, okay? We're not here to give false doctrine. We're not here to, you know, spare feelings. No, man, you know, we're not here to, to preach the um the smooth things like the scriptures speak about. You know, no, man, this is serious business, man, all right? And and this uh, chip is going to come before World War Three, which is funny in the, the video, Hassan Kamal was even mentioning World War Three. you know? And we know that this chip is going to become which is that spoken of as the hour of temptation to try the world that's going to come before the end destruction of the nuclear missiles in world war three where america being babylon the great is destroyed and turned into a desert man okay and only the elect all right of the lord's people is going to be delivered from all these things jacob's trouble all right the time of great tribulation a time like there's never been before on the earth uh, um you know the, the hour of temptation uh, World War Three, you know, uh, famines and earthquakes, pestilences, all these things are coming, man. So that's why we're telling our people to get right. Those that have an ear to hear, only the elect are going to uh, uh, be, you know, take heed and get right, man. That's why we got to do these videos and give the warning out because you have those that are going off. OK, those that are, are misleading people, those that are going to have a lot of blood on their hands, man. And that's what the scriptures say, uh, uh, you know, give them warning. You know, and, and we're getting the blood off of our hands, man. <clears throat> Alright, the scriptures speak about if the blind lead the blind, then, then both 
shall fall into a ditch, man. All right. Um, hey, man, you know, Lord willing, you know, I made the point, you know, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, you know, I'm just, Lord, you just was flowing in the spirit, man. I had to just, you know, turn on a video and just try and uh, speak on this, man. So, yeah, man, and, and just knowing that, that you know, you've got to go into the words as well, man, because he was speaking about the, the, the mark in Ezekiel 9, man, which but the mark in Ezekiel 9, all right, is a, is different from the mark in Revelations 13 and 16, man, okay? Because the word for, for mark in Ezekiel 9 and 4 is, is uh, thawa, all right, which is an exemption from judgment, which those, you know, that are prophesying and preaching the downfall, and, and sign and crying for the wickedness that's going on, the abominations, all right, the elect men, they're going to have that mark of exemption, all right, they're going to have the deliverance, all right, and they're also going to have the truth, man, the correct doctrine, all right, they're going to have the names of the Heavenly Father and the, and the Lord and Savior, okay, the Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Barashim, Yahweh Shai, man, the, that's the scripture, the scripture says there is no, none other name under heaven whereby uh, given among men whereby we must be saved so these things matter man the doctrine matters the scriptures matter all right it's about the truth man all right not about pride or not about your vain opinion all right it's thus saith the scriptures man so i'm going to end it there all praises to yahweh ba'asham yahweh shai waharaka kodash double honors to the apostles of great millstone all right to the elect out there you know, uh, stay strong, we're, we're at the end, all right, and, and now's the time to repent, man, all right, for those, you know, that, that you know, can take heed, take heed, man, all right, because we're at the end of this, man, all right, we're in the last days, man, so with that, I'll end it and say to the elect, Shalom.